Hi, YouTube. We have started playing a lot of Lethal Company in the community, and we test out a lot of mods in the streams. If you want to actually suggest some mods or even see us test them live and stuff, you can always come by the Twitch channel, which is linked in the description, but that is optional. What this video is meant to do instead is show you how to actually mod the game. So, what do you first might want to do? There's a few different options. I use Thunderstore, so I'm going to show this uh, version, this alternative. And as you can see at the top of the website, thunderstore.io, the link will also be in the chat, you can click Get App. That will be your first step, which gets you to this type of thing. You may notice it has both game and server in the selection here. So, what you want to do is you want to go in and type Lethal Company. When you hover over it, you can select the game, or if you intend to just mod this one a lot, you can click Set as Default. Once you've done that, you may notice there's a bunch of different uh, categories I've already done here, and uh, this one is one I mainly use. So what you probably want to do is create a new one. You probably don't have one. So um, then you can just do this to set it up. When you've done that, you just pick it and select Profile. And we can actually make the screen a little bit bigger, I think. There we go. Um, when you're here, you may notice that my mods is empty. So all you have to do is to go to get mods. And welcome Raiders, by the way. We are doing a little YouTube uh, tutorial here. So uh, we just got Raided on Twitch. I'm going to welcome you more properly soon. So we can focus for the YouTube uh, video here real quick. Now. When you do this, you will notice that there's a lot of different mods, and it may be very chaotic. There's over 4,000 in just a month's time, and there it can be really hard to really get your bearings. Like, what mods should I get? So my recommendation, as you start out modding, may be to go to Download Count. Download Count is more likely to have some really popular mods that allows you to do something that you might want. Then you can click on them to read about them. You can go to the website for extra information. So, for example, we could go with more emotes. Then you click download. And then it has been added over here. And anything it might require to run this mod. So, let's pick up a few here that might be good. So, you can see a little bit of them in effect. Um, we can go with ship loot is the one I would recommend. It allows you to scan more easily how much you have in the ship. While some would use these items to give yourself a reserved item flashlight slot and walkie slot, this is a very nice option. We can actually do this for this video. I personally don't use them, but uh, let's do this specifically the flashlight so we can buy and show it. Flashlight toggle we can use in this case. I usually use something called Mic Tweaks, which allows you to tweak even more things. But let's begin with that. And things that you can more instantly see, so we don't have to run in deep to a map to display these uh, mods in action. So if you want to be able to watch, like, look down a better, you can do this one. Better stamina to improve your stamina. As you can see, there's some that are more obvious in what they do. So, personally, I uh, try modding things to keep it near vanilla. I also made a mod myself called Hell Station, so we can pick this one up too because it's easy to show off too and not just to sell promo. Thank you for 150,000 downloads, by the way. That is impressively insane. I expected maybe 12 people to download it when I made it. Um, what is Coroner? Re reword the performance report with new info. That's cool. So we have a few mods that we can utilize to show it off. But let's also add shotgun, because then you get an idea of things that are possible, and then you can browse through this yourself. And as said, we also do a lot of mod testing on the Twitch stream, so if you want to find out about more, you can check out that. I will also link in the description of this one the mods we test out on the Twitch stream, and that one will be updated, so even if you saw this video a month later, there may be even more things then than there is now. So you can also bookmark that if you just want to check back regularly instead of catching the Twitch streams. Once you're done getting the mods you want, right here, you have modded and vanilla. So you pick which ones you want. And let's say you also want to share these mods with your friends to play in multiplayer. Sometimes you need to have mods for everyone, sometimes not. You can go to settings and then here and then profile. No, profile might not be the best. Uh, let's see here, code. You can export profile as a code. This code is what you share and they will have a profile made. So where you put this in, is you would go to the change profile, import, and either import new or update existing profile. Then you would just go here from code and boom. Then you would import it and you're good to go. But we don't need to do that because we have it here. 
So that's how you can share this easily with your friends. Now, we want to show you modded here, so we're booting up the game. And it might flicker, my capture card is a bit weird, so it might go a quick black screen, but you wouldn't get one. This here is a thing that pops up to show you what mods were loaded, and if it worked well. If you see red text, <laughs> it shows here that the more emotes cannot be loaded because something else is already loaded. Sometimes it's about the order it loads in, and the game may still work with uh, playing it, but the mod won't work. This is okay for the sake of this video. We'll just leave it at that. That's actually kind of good it happened. Because it allows you to see. Let's go to 52 volume here. Uh, that sometimes mods can collide and sometimes they won't. And you might rearrange their order. I can show real quick how to do that. Okay, that was a quick flicker. I'm going to do this for audio sync reasons. There we go. So as you might notice in the bottom right, we now have a new slot. And, oh, that. <laughs> Welcome to your first day on the, the emotes job. still work, even though it said it was this collided. This is your very own autopilot ship, where you will eat and sleep for the duration of So let's just do this. Make yourself at home. To complete so the you can see process, how the mods you are actually working. Check the instruction manual and sign so one mod I usually use that we didn't add is HD mod. It makes asset. things look way more pretty. Great, great and asset. for this particular case, I don't feel like we necessarily need to show that and uh, we'll just pick this up and then that will be it for the video tutorial but basically this is how easy it is to mod you go to the website you download the app for most at ease you don't have to do that you can manually download mod specifically by going to the pages but using a mod manager is just much easier um, and i would say like there's no reason not to use them so you can more easily just set up profiles and pick and disable and enable. We'll show that real quick, how easily you can just disable mods too that you have taken down. And we're going to do one more thing as we turn off the game to show one last thing you might be curious about how to alter. And as you can see here, my flashlight is now in the right part of the screen. I can toggle the flashlight with F and if I hold Alt, it brings out the flashlight into my hand. So that is how quickly and easy you can get started with modding Little Company. Now, if you wanted to disable a mod real quick, you can simply do this. There we go. It's disabled. We can even show that the capture card, please. Thank you. <laughs> you can see here that lost, first, custom, and none. You don't want to see the disabled ones, so you can just hide them. And if you have configs, they will show up here. And you can actually go in there and just click edit config and change the things you might want to change, such as settings of buttons, where and why they trigger. So I hope this video might have helped you get started with modding. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave a YouTube comment or even come by our Twitch streams. Or if you want to recommend mods, you can go both the YouTube comments as well as the Twitch streams for that too. And uh, hopefully this helped. I have been Thulark. Your guide through Lethal Company. You guys have been awesome for checking this video out. No need to like or subscribe, but if you do, welcome in. Take care. Bye, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.